me to Bruno Isaac Berry telling you a problem about basic game theory from a recent AMC. Uh, so I learned it from Dr. Kovan Pillai. He's a great teacher. Uh, so check him out. Arjun and Beth play a game in which they take turns removing one brick or two adjacent bricks from one wall among a set of several walls of bricks with gaps, possibly creating new walls. The walls are one brick tall. For example, a set of walls of sizes 4 and 2 can be changed into any of the following with one move. 3, 2, 2, 1, 2, 4, 4, 1, 2, 2, or 1, 1, 2. The person who takes out the last brick wins. Which of the following initial configurations guarantees the best win? Arjun goes first. Alright, so first of all, let's explain what they mean over here. Sizes 4 and 2 can be changed to any of the following by one move. So, what they mean is, if we have a brick wall that looks like this, 1, 2, 3, this is 4 bricks, right? And then, this is 2 bricks, so the comma is meant to represent a gap. And here's the gap. So, the thing is, the possible configurations they talked about were 3, 2, which looks like this. Another possible configuration was 2, 1, 2 which looks like this. Another possible configuration would be four, which would be if they remove these two consecutive bricks. Another one would be four, one, if they just removed one of these two bricks. Another one would be two, two, if they removed two of these adjacent bricks. Oh yeah, they have to be adjacent. Or 1, 1, 2, if they remove these middle two adjacent bricks. Those are all the configurations possible from taking one brick out or two adjacent bricks out from our configuration. So, a person who takes out the last brick wins. Which of the following initial configurations guarantees the best? So now, let's do something similar, but not the same. Because in game theory, uh or in problem solving in general, a great thing is to uh, first work with a smaller example. So, let's say uh, Beth and Arjun are taking bricks out of a line of, of course, finite x bricks. In this case, we don't have x bricks. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 bricks. So, let's see what Arjun can do. So, Arjun goes first. So, let's say he takes out two bricks. So then, Beth goes next. So, she's going to take out two bricks as well. Then, what is Arjun going to do? Well, Arjun can take out... Wait, okay. Arjun can take out uh, this brick right here. Because uh, that forces Beth to either take out this brick, which gives Arjun this win, or it forces Beth to take out these two bricks, which gives him the win because he can take out this last brick. So with eight bricks, he can easily force a win. But what about nine? Because the thing is, if Beth can mirror his movements, then she can easily get to the end. Because if Arjun makes one and Beth makes two, that in total sums up to three. If Arjun does two and Beth does one, that also sums up to three. So no matter what, a Beth can always remove three consecutive bricks. No matter what Arjun does. And that's why we need a multiple of three bricks in order for Beth to force a win. Now, the nearest multiple uh, of three to eight is nine. So let's see if it works for nine bricks. So, of course, Arjun is going to play first, uh, let's say, he takes out this brick. Beth, then, takes out these two to mirror him. Then, Arjun is like, hey, you can't do that. So, Arjun takes out two bricks. Then, Beth just takes out one brick. So, Arjun has no clue what she's doing at this point. So, he starts taking from the opposite end. He takes two bricks out of here. And Beth is able to take one brick over here, ending the game. Now, you might also ask, but wait, can't Arjun win the game with just one simple move? 
six, seven, eight. Uh, you might be thinking he can just take out this one, right? Well, let's see what happens when Beth takes out this brick. Uh, now I'm doing this all on a whim, so uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So, well, once this has happened, then Arjun is like, well, I can't let her have a multiple of a three, so I'm going to take out two bricks. But then, you know what Beth does? Uh, Beth can take out, wait, if Beth takes out two bricks, doesn't that mean Arjun can take out one brick and force a win? I don't think, uh, then that means that taking out one brick must be the logical move. Then, Arjun will take out two bricks, and Beth takes out two bricks, which is which are the final two bricks ending the game. So no matter what, if there are three end bricks, uh, Beth can force a win. So now, let's see how many bricks there are in each configuration. This one is eight, this one is nine, this one is ten, this one is also ten, and this one is eleven. Now the only multiple of three here is nine. But we're not done yet. We still have to check. Because those two were similar, but not completely the same games. So let's try drawing our configuration here. Which looks a little bit like this. Six bricks, then a gap, then two bricks, then another gap, and then one brick. Alright, and that sums up to nine bricks in total. So, let's say Arjun tries taking out this one. Now, if... Arjun starts, uh, if Arjun starts taking out bricks here, then it's hopeless for Arjun because we've already shown Beth can force a win on a chunk of three N blocks, except when N is one and Arjun goes first. If there's a chunk of three bricks and Arjun goes first, Arjun can easily take out this, forcing Beth to take out one of these two so Arjun can get the win. So we just can't let him have three. So... Uh, Arjun does not want Beth to have D6, so let's try getting him to play optimally. So let's ignore those six bricks and work on these three bricks. So, Arjun at first is like, aha, I can take these two bricks. But then Beth takes this last brick, and then Arjun has to go first here, and he gives up. So then, what does he do next? He takes out this brick, but then Beth takes out this and Arjun has to go first there again. So then Arjun is like, aha, you little cheeky. I can do this. Now this one is going to require a little bit of thinking. But Beth can simply go here. And then Arjun must go here. Wait, no. Uh, but that's not optimal for Beth, I think. Uh, Beth can go here, so Arjun has to go here, and that means Beth starts for D6. So, let's see what happens when Beth starts. If Beth takes out one, Arjun takes out two. Uh, Arjun tries to do Beth's little mirroring trick, but that doesn't work anymore, because what Beth can do, he can take out this little thing, and then Arjun has no hope, because whatever brick he chooses, Beth can choose the other brick, and she can win. So that means that it's gotta be B. Thank you everybody for watching.